Hey, beautiful souls. I am Joyful Medium, Joy Giovanni, and I am so excited to talk with you today about checking in with number one. I've titled it A Question to Reveal Your Inner Truth and Blocks. So for those of you who were in attendance at the free community healing yesterday, we really checked in and talked about coming home to ourselves. You know, this time of year, we can be so outward focused and we're really just starting into the season, whether you are celebrating holidays coming up this time of year, you know, through the end of 2022, um, you know, we celebrate the new year, we celebrate Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and work parties and friend parties and friends giving and all these other holidays that are so outward focused, spending so much time checking in on everyone and everything else, you know, making our list and checking them twice, right? Making sure we're running. You know, for me, I ran to the grocery store yesterday and then I'm going to run next week just to start prepping to make sure I have everything that everyone wants, right? But what about you? Are you at home within yourself? I want to talk a little bit about what that even means and the way to kind of pose those questions to yourself to find out What's going on with you? Have you built a trusting relationship with yourself? And I know it sounds maybe a little strange because you might be saying, Joy, I've lived with myself my whole life. Of course, I have a trusting relationship with myself. But do you feel at home within yourself? Are you showing up for yourself, making and holding the boundaries in love that you need to feel loved, to feel supported, to feel you know safe as you move through this last part of the year? Because you're the one responsible for that within you, right? It's not other people's responsibilities to guess our needs or boundaries, even if that means needing to take a little time alone for yourself to kind of reset and check in with yourself. I've been doing a lot of thinking just this last six weeks or so. This has been really heavy on my heart. And it's one of the reasons that I wanted to do this chat today with you guys. Um, I really just want to encourage, invite, maybe a good word, uh, each of you to really just spend some time before we are in the full throes of the hustle and bustle of the remainder of the year. For me, time always speeds up so much at the end of the year. I always think that I'm going to have downtime to like catch up on work or do extra things, uh, but it never seems to happen. So let's get in there early. Also, if you guys want, if you were in attendance uh, at the community healing, the free community healing last night, there'll be another one in December uh, for those of you that missed it. Um, if you guys are interested, even if you weren't at that healing, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Uh, respond however you receive this live if you're watching it. Let me know if you guys want me to create a meditation for you to um, use throughout this end of year season to really just remind you how to come back to yourself and to give you a meditation to use. If you guys want that, I'll create it for you. Um, just let me know. So that being said, we talked a lot about coming home to ourselves and just taking a moment to go within to pause. But what I've really been thinking about is, you know, sometimes we create all these lists and things to do for ourselves throughout the year, whether it's related to our business or to our personal development, or for a lot of you, spiritual development. I know, I know a lot of you uh, that are in my community are mediums and intuitives and psychics and healers and sensitives yourselves. So we spend so much time and effort focused externally on the list, the people, all the things we have to do. But are you checking in with number one? Now, I know in pop culture and in, you know, trends these days, we're talking a lot about self-love and self-care. And while you guys know, I think that is so important. Are you doing the basic fundamental check-in with yourself to say, you know, am I okay? How do I feel? How do I feel right now. And taking it a little bit deeper to evaluate those areas, you know, maybe it's um, uh, something that you're trying to bring into the world, a project you want to create, right? And you know you want to create this project, you've been thinking about it and ruminating on it and maybe even doing a little bit of research on it, and you're not taking action. So 
those are the times that these check-ins are especially important to just, you know, it doesn't have to be going into meditation if that's not your thing. It can be going for a walk. It could be just kind of having this question in the back of your mind. It could be writing it out journaling style. It could be as you listen to podcasts or music or move through your day, just having this check-in question, you know, in the back of your mind or just to the side of your mind, maybe around where's the disconnect between what I say I want and what I'm actually doing for myself, right? Now, it doesn't mean, you know, what you're wanting to do for everyone else or even necessarily what you're wanting to do in your business unless that's directly tied to yourself, your creation in the world, right? Maybe you're an artist. Maybe you're also a medium like me. We create you know, in the world as part of our work, sometimes professionally and just sometimes as part of our spiritual work. So if it's tied to you like that, then it could be something like that. It could be a project that you're trying to bring to the world. But if there's a disconnect between what you know that you want to bring into the world, right? Even if it's just the way you want to live your day or the way you want to take care of your body and good health, is there a disconnect between what you say you want and the action that you're taking on a consistent basis. And that's all about the emotion. That's going to be the key to that. So when you notice a situation like that, and sometimes we might not even notice them because often we're in some kind of resistance if that's happening. It's really just, I'm regularly checking in with myself. What do I feel like I want? What do I say I want? What am I creating? And is there a disconnect in the actions that I'm taking in the world? And what's the emotion I'm feeling? Really, I promise you one question. And the one question is just getting still with yourself, meaning some private time where you don't have kiddos tugging on your leg or, you know, uh, Zoom calls or work calls going off or people hustling and bustling around you, getting some private time, even if it's going for a walk and asking yourself, what am I feeling right now? And it might even be, what am I feeling related to this project? What am I feeling related to this portion of my life, this stretch of my journey, right? Because those feelings of resistance or ease or excitement or um, confusion or uncertainty, those feelings are the key into knowing, you know, maybe you're putting too much pressure on yourself. And that project is something that someone suggested to you that's not actually true for you or in integrity with you, or you're just not vibing it and it's not what you want to produce, right? Could be as simple as that. And the feeling that might bubble up might be something like, I'm feeling conflicted. And then you can dig a little deeper, I guess is what I want to say, check in a little further. Well, why am I conflicted? Or what do I actually want? Or why am I feeling like that's not in alignment with me or my message or my um, intention for this next part of my journey, right? But getting clear about that feeling, because often we're just working in these five basic feelings, right? Happy, sad, uh, fine, good, um, tired. I feel like those are, you know, kind of top five. Uh, You guys know I love Brene Brown. She has a whole book on it called Atlas of the Heart, the feelings that we're expressing regularly and the whole span of feelings that we could be accessing in those nuances, right? So, you know, just are you with yourself when you're moving through these projects or these things you want to do? Are you saying like, no, it's fine. I'm just going to do it. We're just going to, we're just going to get this done and I'm just going to push through. And then you're not taking consistent action in a passionate, excited, inspired way. Those are the emotions that let you know, okay, this is flowing well. I am in alignment with my higher self or my true soul self or just who I really am and who I want to express as in the world in this next part, right? So checking in with yourself with how am I feeling now? How am I feeling today? How am I feeling in relation to this? And when you do notice Um, feelings that feel a little challenged or a little abrasive. Maybe it's just that you're feeling stuck, right? So what's the feeling to move towards if that feeling is stuck? It's inspiration. So how can you move yourself towards inspiration? What are the tools that work for you? I know we've covered a lot of them just in our sessions together here, our little chats together. So that's the question I'm just going to encourage you to sit with 
before the busyness starts, before that outward focus, that hecticness, hectus, hecticness, my goodness, starts for this end of the year. Because I want to set you guys up for permission that you don't have to agree to things that you don't want to agree to. And if the emotion in you is feeling like, you know what, I don't want to make seven kinds of potatoes this holiday to appease everyone else. I'm feeling resentful about that. Wow, I didn't even realize that was in there. I just felt like I was tired and that's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> um, so what could you do instead then? You can evaluate from there and say, okay, maybe I'm needing a boundary, right? Maybe I'm trying to do too much and maybe everybody doesn't even care about all these potatoes. Let me check in with these guests and see you know, do they actually really want this? Maybe they're willing to contribute. Maybe it's maybe it's an asking for collaboration or help. Maybe they're willing to bring the kind of potatoes they like at home. Um, and maybe I can just make one or maybe I don't have to make any at all. Maybe I, that can be the thing I ask other people to bring. And I know that's a funny little example, but we can use this on just the micro scale for how am I feeling today about this meal that I'm writing the menu for, for a celebration, right? Something, I mean, maybe not small, but something like that. Or it can be big things. Like I said, a project you're wanting to put into the world. Um, you know, I, I have a little bit of a, of a, not really spoiler, but like a sneak uh, a, a sneak preview announcement that I haven't really announced in a big way yet. Um, that's why I'm so resistant is that's the thing I've really been struggling with is for about a year, I've been excited about, inspired about wanting to put forward a podcast for you guys. Um, and I've been resistant. My actions, my timeline hasn't matched what I've said that I wanted. And so this is how I've been using this question. I've been checking in with myself a lot these last six weeks taking taking time sometimes um you know days that i had blocked for recording just needing to take that time to do some inner checking some checking with number one because i'm the one that's going to carry this on my shoulders no one else is asking me to do it no one else is um, going to do it for me it's going to be me and there's a commitment and there was a disconnect for me and when I was looking at what is that disconnect, it's because I was trying to, um, I want to say I was, I was trying to find a way to incorporate so many elements because there's so many things I want to bring forward to you guys. And I was actually having a little bit of resistance about um, putting myself forward on such a big platform. Uh, it feels a little intimidating to do the bits and pieces of it for me. This was just part of my evaluation. That's why I'm sharing it so you guys can see how this can work for you. Uh, but I do have uh, an amazing coach who's been helping me understand the little micro pieces and you know the how to produce it and how to edit it and how to post it and, and all the pieces, right? Because any project we're doing, there's lots of pieces usually. So is it that disconnect that you're overwhelmed about some element Element and you can really dial down at that feeling within yourself of, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. Am I overwhelmed about this project or am I, am I overwhelmed because it's too many things on my plate, right? And I know that all of you are such caring, amazing, beautiful souls. How many times I wonder, just in the last 10 days, have you asked others, how are you? How are you doing? How have you been? How is X, Y, Z that's going on with you? How are you feeling? Probably a lot. But how many times have you sat with yourself and said, what's my emotion right now? What's my feeling right now? And peel away, fine, good, well, you know, peel away those pleasantries because this is you. You're your number one. You're your most intimate partner in life. And if you can't be real with the tough feelings with yourself, that's a whole nother thing to look at. And sometimes we're in resistance about things that we really want to do in the world. But maybe it's just the version that we're wanting to put forward or that we thought we needed to put forward is different than what our soul's calling us to put forward, right? And that was the case for me with this podcast. It was me really hashing out with myself what I wanted to put forward, what my soul was calling me to express in the world, because that's the only way we're going to truly be happy is to be expressing our most authentic selves. And it doesn't have to be, 
you know, in your work, it could be in a hobby, it could be in something that you volunteer in, it could just be in your private time. But in some area of your life, you know, you need to be expressing your your soul's calling, your most authentic self. But in all areas of your life, can you be expressing who you truly are and how you feel in this moment? So that is what I have been ruminating on. That is what I have been stewing with. And I just wanted to share it with you guys and encourage you, especially as we gear up for this end of the year, to just continuously, you know, maybe it's hourly, maybe it's daily, checking in with yourself on a really regular basis. How am I feeling? What's my feeling? Where's the disconnect between what I'm doing or what I say I want to be doing and the action I'm actually taking? And it can be about any area of life, guys. So I hope this was helpful. I am really excited about this podcast. I've been working so hard on it. I was hoping to launch it earlier, um, you know, in the year. Uh, It's been pushed back a little bit, but it is coming. I don't have all the full announcement for you yet, but since you guys are also special to me, I do want to let you know, watch for posts and announcements and emails if you're on my VIP list. I'm going to be creating uh, a launch family. The podcast, I'm going to leak the name to you guys. The podcast is going to be called Spirit Speakeasy. And I'm so excited about the premise of it. That's one of the things I've been really um, working on is really just, you know, understanding what I wanted to say and what I wanted to bring out to the world, what I wanted this to be about. Um, So what I'm going to do is create a sign up. And for anyone that wants to sign up and wants to be a part of this launch family, um, I'm going to have some bonuses and prizes for you. I'll have it all set up so you can read it and see it. That's what I'll be working on the rest of this week, um, along with clients and readings and teaching and all that. Um, But there are going to be some fun bonuses. And I think Everyone that's part of the launch family and participates, I think I'm going to do a a Zoom group reading for you guys. Um, And you know how those are. Of course, everyone doesn't get a contact, uh, depending how many people participate. But you'll get to experience a mediumship event. I know you guys have been asking me to do a live group reading. So as one of the bonuses for everyone that joins that um, launch family for Spirit Speakeasy and agrees to be Spirit Speakeasy Beacons, just shining the light for everyone else. I'm going to have some bonuses and things. So start looking for that. Um, I'm really excited. And I just want to tell you quickly the premise of the podcast, um, Spirit Speakeasy. It's like a seat at the table in a secret club, but with mediums and mystics and the spiritual luminaries of our time. So you're going to come behind the velvet ropes with me and see inside my world as I chat insider style with profoundly gifted souls. We're going to go deep and share juicy stories and laugh a lot. And it wouldn't be a speakeasy without great insider secrets. Plus, there'll be solo episodes um, with just you and me, inspiring chats and even some mediumship readings. So I'm going to be doing some Uh, readings as a part of this. So there'll be some sign up for that too. So get excited. Some of you will receive um, free readings as part of this. So that is what is going on with me. I'm so excited to get to share this with you guys. And it's going to be an amazing wrap up of this year. And I'm excited for 2023. So make sure that you've got the Um, email marked safe. If you're not on the email list. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. I created a new free course for you guys. Um, Some of you have started it and practiced with it and played with it already. It is uh, called Sign Magnet. It is a mini course, three sessions to teach you how to get signs, how we always talk about, are you seeing numbers? 1111, 444, 333. So I get, go into all the numbers, one through nine, what they mean. And there's even a cheat sheet that you can print out of the numbers and their meanings. Um, we also talk about how to get signs from your higher self or the universe and how to get signs from loved ones in the spirit world. Hellos from heaven, we sometimes call them. So I do a full training, three sessions of how to do all of that. If you want access to that, it's totally free. Just go to my website, joyfulmedium.com. And right on the homepage, there's a sign up for it. Even if you're on my VIP list, email list already, like if you've already signed up for the email list, sign up again. So it'll trigger 
that course to come to you. And you'll get access immediately um, as soon as you sign up. There's a thank you page that has the first video embedded on it. So you can start it right away if you want. You won't have to wait. Uh, but if you already are on the list, you just need to sign up again to trigger it because it's something new. So I wanted to let you guys know, though, because I know you guys love signs. We've done the free signs workshops and you guys have done so well with those that I really wanted to create a free signs mini course. So that is now available for you guys too. To. So I'm so excited to really just continue to roll out so many things over the remainder of this year. Let me know how this question resonates with you. Is it starting to stir up some things in you? Is it starting to stir up some feelings? Um, hello to all of those of you that are commenting already and feel free to just let me know how this is working for you. Checking in with number one. I know it can feel uncomfortable, especially as sensitives and empaths. We're so used to checking on everyone else, but checking in on number one and how are you feeling, especially as it relates to certain areas of your life. So it was so great to be with you guys. Big hugs. Bye for now. I will see you. Um, we're going to start doing the weekly lives again at noon Pacific. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, and I've started it with a new platform. I'm working with StreamYard now, so I'm going to try to broadcast um, in the Joy Soul Spa Facebook group as well as on the uh, at Joyful Medium Facebook page and the Joy Giovanni Psychic Medium YouTube channel. And I am just really um, feeling inspired. Big hugs. Bye for now.